my name is uh, Victor Urindi. I'm, uh, I'm with the National Drought Management Authority, specifically Adaptation Consortium. But here I'm also serving as the chair of the National Organizing Committee for this conference. Uh, for this particular session, Kenya was looking at uh, uh, what to look for in the future agreements. I think one of the things we noted was that uh, most people are not uh, aware of the draft text and therefore it's highly unlikely that uh, they will influence the final text that will be negotiated or adopted during the, that, during the COP. Uh, I think uh, if you don't, if you're not clear on what's being agreed at the international level, then it becomes even more difficult to domesticate and even track w progress with uh, whatever you've adopted. I think questions were asked about uh, the extent to which indigenous knowledge has uh, been documented and informed uh, some of the county positions. Uh, I think we had uh, a mixed uh, response. The, I think the most interesting was the role of religion, really. Some, with some people are, uh, claiming that religion is a hindrance to the effective use of indigenous knowledge. The area with the least agreement, I think, was uh, uh, the nature of uh, collaboration. Uh, not really collaboration. The area with the least agreement was on uh, engagement with Green Climate Fund and other funding entities for community-based adaptation. I think uh, there are people who felt that uh, we still have a room to influence how the criteria the Green Climate Fund is using to fund adaptation initiatives, but there were those who felt that uh, uh, we, might not met, we might not make much progress as such with the Green Climate Fund, uh, simply because of the way it's uh, structured and you know, financing mechanism and you know, the requirements they usually have. Key lessons learned is that uh, I think uh, we do a lot of work, but I think we don't engage and lobby in, uh, international processes to the extent that they can ensure they support community-based adaptation. I think uh, most people in the room were not aware that there's a draft text uh, going to Paris, to be negotiated in Paris. So that way it means that uh, agreements uh, being made there uh, might not really have their input. So I think we need to pull up our socks as far as engaging with the national positions but also the agreements to be reached so that we influence things at that level before they are agreed and you know, uh, formalized.